J-E-L-L-O. The Jell-O program coming to you from the Plaza Theater in Palm Springs, California, starring Jack Benny. With Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Dennis Day, and yours truly, Don Wilson. The orchestra opens the program with I'm Going to El Centro with a banjo on my knee. <laughs> You know, sometimes I think I could write a whole book about what a grand dessert jello really is. For example, I could devote the entire first chapter of the book to telling you how gay and inviting jello looks, with its vivid, glowing colors and shimmering beauty. In chapter two, I'd point out how delightfully tender and delicate jello is, and what a smooth, melt in the mouth texture it has. Chapter three would deal at great length with jello's glorious flavor. A flavor as distinctive and well known as its name, and just as refreshing as the juicy, ripe fruit itself. Then in chapter four, I'd explain how quick and easy Jell-O is to serve and how it sells for only a few pennies per package. And oh yes, in chapter five, I'd remind everybody to be sure to try strawberry, raspberry, and cherry Jell-O. Each has a new improved flavor obtained by using a natural flavor base artificially enhanced. And as a result, they're better than ever. Try a tempting dessert made with rich, delicious Jell-O tomorrow. with a banjo on my knees played by the orchestra. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for our second broadcast from Palm Springs, we're going to show you how Jack and all of us have been enjoying our vacation here on the desert. As you remember, last week, Jack was living quite a little distance from Palm Springs at a place called the T.P. Motel. But a few days ago, he rented a house here in town with a swimming pool. Yeah, with her. <laughs> Dennis, don't interrupt. Go ahead, Don. Anyway, last Thursday, Jack invited us all over to his pool for a swim. It was a beautiful sunny day, and Jack told us to get there early so we'd have a full day outdoors in the first Rochester, the gang will be over pretty soon, so I think I'll take my swimming lesson before they get here. Okay. Now watch this, Rochester. I'm going to swim clear across the pool. Clear across? It's only six feet. <laughs> it's too bad. I'm sorry I haven't got the Atlantic Ocean here. Now, keep your eye on me and tell me when I do anything wrong. But, boss, I don't know anything about swimming. I gave you an instruction book last night. Why didn't you read it? I was working on that Navajo rug for your father. <laughs> You're supposed to weave in the daytime. Now, here I go across the pool, Rochester. Have you got the gun? Right here, boss. Well, start me off. Okay. On your mark. Get set. I'm off. Wow! Whew. Well, I did it. I swam clear across the pool. How was that, Rochester? Fine! Now try it without your water wings! <laughs> Nothing doing. This is the deep end. Oh, well, I've had enough swimming for a while. Ain't you gonna take your diving lesson? Oh, yes. Here, help me out. <laughs> there. Now hold my water wings and I'll dive in. I think I'll dive from the high board. That'll be a real thrill. Uh -huh. <laughs> of course, I'm not used to this. Maybe I ought to dive off the low board. That's fun, too. Uh-huh. Of course. Oh, why bother? I'll dive right here from the edge of the pool. There's one more way, boss. I can dunk you. <laughs> No, no, I'll dive in. Here I go. One, two, whee! There he goes. When he takes them water wings off, he sinks like a rock. Oh, hello, Miss Livingston. Hello, Rochester. The rest of the gang get here yet? No, ma'am. You're the first one. Sure is a beautiful day. Yes, it's lovely. Gee, look at those mountains all around us. 
Majestic, ain't they? <laughs> Can I get you a glass of lemonade, Miss Livingston? No, thank you. Where's Mr. Benny? He's down at the bottom of the pool. The bottom of the pool? Oh, yes, there he is, coming up. That's his toupee. Mr. Benny's over here. <laughs> Darn you, Rochester. I almost drowned. Why didn't you throw me the life preserver? I couldn't. I was sitting on it. Well, you could have got up. Now, pull me out. There. Now, oh, hello, Mary. Hello, Jack. Oh, boy, get a load of that bathing suit. What's the matter with it? The first one I ever saw with long pants. These aren't long pants. When my trunks get wet, they creep down. They'll be all right when they dry out. When they dry out, they'll break your legs. They will not. This material is very good. Say, you've got your bathing suit on, Mary. Why don't you go, uh, go in for a swim? Oh, I'll wait till the others get here. Hey, Jack, what's that canoe doing in the swimming pool? That canoe? Oh, Rochester won it from an Indian. You know, he brought his dice with him. Would you like a string of beads, Miss Limson? <laughs> Rochester. I told you last week to stop gambling with the Indians. Boss, when a man pays me, I don't look up to see if there's a feather in his hair. <laughs> well, I want you to cut it out. You got more Indian stuff now than Fred Harvey's. So take it easy. Hey, Jack, look. Here comes Mr. Billingsley, your boarder. Oh, yes. What's he doing here? Oh, he arrived a few hours ago. Claims he flew in from Hollywood on his magic carpet. Over these mountains? Oh, you're as bad as he is. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Billingsley. Good morning, Mr. Benny. Been in for a dip, I see. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, why don't you go in for a swim, Mr. Billingsley? I'd love to, but my tuxedo is at the cleaners. <laughs> Oh, yes, he always swims formal. You know? <laughs> hmm. Say, Jack, uh, I think I'll stretch out and take a sun bath. Go ahead. Watch out for that sun, Mary. It's pretty hot. Here's a can of oil. I'm not going to rub that stuff on me. Here, take this can. Nothing doing. It's still got a sardine in it. <laughs> a sardine? Shall I bring you a cracker, boss? Never mind. <laughs> I think I'll take a sun bath, too. Rochester, rub some oil on my back. You mean out of this can? Yes. I did that yesterday, and the cat licked it off faster than I could put it on. <laughs> well, that cat isn't around here today. Rub me. Okay. Gee, Mary, just think. Here we are taking a sun bath, and right above us are snow-covered mountains. Aren't those peaks beautiful? They're sharp, too. My magic carpet is in shreds. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. How are you going back to Los Angeles? With a banjo on my knee. <laughs> well, that was my fault. <laughs> hey, Mary, Mary, you better, you better cover up there or you'll get sunburned. Oh, I'm all right. Gee, you look cute in that bathing suit. No kidding, Mary, you look just like Miss Hollywood. Oh, hello, Dennis. Hello, Mr. Benny. Stand up, Mary. Let's see your suit in the back. There. Oh, boy! Dennis! <laughs> now behave yourself or I'll take away your pass to my swimming pool. Did he get a pass? I had to buy a membership. Mary, I can't start a swimming club without members. Say, Mr. Benny, you got a lot of swell records here. Do you mind if I play your Victrola? No, no, go right ahead, Dennis. It's the club Victrola. Any member can play it. <laughs> oh, Mr. Billingsley, are you sure you wouldn't like to go in for a swim? No, thanks. I'll just run up to my room for a sun bath. To your room? Oh, did you bring a sun lamp with you? No, just a glow worm. Goodbye. <laughs> he must have traded in his lightning bug. <laughs> oh, well. Look, Mr. Benny, here's one of my records. Would you like to hear it? Yeah, that would be swell. Go ahead, Dennis, put it on. Gee, this sun is hot now. Sure feels good, though. You know, it's fun just stretching out here and... Ouch! Oh, oh! Oh, oh! What's the matter, Mr. Benny? His trunk's just dried. <laughs> oh, my leg. I can't understand the suit shrinking so much. My own father sold it to me. <laughs> Why do I feel so lonely? So lost and blue Why 
Yet does my heart wander aimlessly the whole night through. It all comes back to me now. A starry summer sky, a laughing you and I alone. It all comes back to me now. A sea of midnight blue. Your face uplifted to my own. We called it a thrill of the moment and blamed the moon up above. We didn't know what the glow meant. We never dreamed it might be loved. It all comes back to me now. The love I threw away Now each lonely night I pray That it will all come back to me Someday It all comes back to me now The love I threw away Now each lonely night I pray No kidding, Dennis. That was a swell record. Now, uh, why don't you go in for a swim? I don't know how to swim. Oh. Oh, you don't? Uh, say, Mary... I meant to learn, but I never got around to it. Oh. Oh, didn't you? Say, Mary... You're not going to kick me out of the club, are you? No! No, Dan, just sit in the sun and peel. Now, forget it. Say, Mary, I wish Don and Phil would get here so we can get started on our hike. Now, wait a minute, Jack. I told you I'm not going on any hike. You are, too. We're going up to Tockwitz Falls. It's one of the most beautiful sights uh, in this part of the country. Here comes your friend for some more of that sardine oil. <laughs> oh, yes. Here, here, kitty, 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 kitty. Watch out, kitty, or he'll be playing love and bloom on you. I just want to pet him, that's all. Here, kitty. Hey, Jack, here come Don and Phil. Oh, yeah. Hiya, Jackson. Hello, Mary. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello Don. Don. Hiya, Hiya Phil. Well, fellas, what do you think of this place I rented? Not bad, eh? Hey, it's all right. And what a beautiful swimming pool. Move over, Don. I can't see it. <laughs> it's not that small. And, Phil, if our swimming pool isn't big enough for you, you can very well stay out of it. I don't want to go in anyway. I just had my hair did. <laughs> That's hair done, and it ain't becoming. <laughs> Incidentally, fellas, before entering pool, please take shower. How much does that cost? Oh, don't try to be funny. The shower is free. Towels, 15 cents! <laughs> now cut that out! And I'll tell you one thing, fellas. I'm very lucky to get a house like this at the height of the season. Ah, uh, you certainly are, Jack. It's a lovely yard, and look at those fruit trees. Boy, get a load of those oranges. They'll leave those oranges right on the trees. I don't want to break up a crate. <laughs> Jeepers, they counted them. Mary, that's part of the landscaping, and I don't want them disturbed. Say, Jack, uh, don't you think we ought to get started on our hike? Uh, yes, Don, we'll be leaving just as soon as our Indian guide gets here. Indian guide? Yes, he knows the trail. Now, get into your slacks, Mary, so you'll be ready. I am not going on that long walk. Then why did you join the Benny Swimming and Hiking Club? You told me Mrs. Roosevelt belonged. <laughs> I did not. I said I sent her an application blank. That was all. Now, come on. We're all going. Say, Jackson, how do you like my hiking outfit? Oh, you look swell, Phil. Well, what's that bottle sticking out of your coat pocket? Well, that's a little Kentucky painkiller in case a snake bites me. Well, you might need it at that. Hey, wait a minute, Phil. There's another bottle in your hip pocket. What's that for? Oh, that's standard equipment. <laughs> Oh, I 
I see. Well, now, come on, everybody. Let's get ready. I'm all set, Jack. I got the rope and everything. The rope? Yeah, I hear the trail's pretty steep in places, so I figured we'd all have to tie ourselves together. Oh. Then in case one of us happens to slip, the others can keep him from falling. Well, that's a beautiful theory, Don, but uh, supposing you happen to be the one that slips. <laughs> Uh, what about us? Next Sunday, the Aldrich family. <laughs> you said it. Well, let's get started. Go in and change, will you, Mary? Okay, I'll be right back. Look who's here, boss! Oh, yes. Me, Indian guide. You, Jack Benny? Oh, uh, I mean, yes, yes. <laughs> now, look, uh, Leaping Deer. <laughs> that's, uh, that's your name, isn't it? Leaping Deer, my uncle. Me, Eagle Puss. <laughs> Oh, he couldn't come, eh? Well, now, look, Eagle Puss. Uh, we'll be starting in a few minutes. Uh, what do you get for taking a party up to Tockwood's Falls? Ten dollars. Ten dollars? I'll get it back, boss. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on, fellas, let's get ready. Hey, Dennis, have you got the water jug? Yeah, I got it. Good. Uh-oh, somebody picked an orange. Bill, put that orange back. stay on the trail, single file, so we don't get lost. I'm tired, Jack. Let's rest for a while. Me too. Okay, okay. Company! Oh! What a bunch of sissies. It was nice of you to bring your drum along, Mr. Billingsley. I'm sorry, I swallowed my fife. Your fife? Oh, well, don't worry about your fife. The drum is just dandy. Hey, Jackson, all this walking is monotonous. It is, eh? Yeah, and if a snake don't bite me pretty soon, I'm gonna take a drink anyway. <laughs> Don't you touch it. Say, Eagle Puss, uh, we've been walking... <laughs> Eagle Puss, we've been walking a long time. How much further is it to Tockwitz Falls? Me don't know. Eagle Puss off the beam. <laughs> oh, oh, lost, eh? Well, you're a fine Indian. You should have known that. His tomahawk says made in Japan. <laughs> well, well, what'll we do? Here's a sign, Mr. Benny. Talk what's fall, straight ahead. Oh, yes. Well, let's get moving. Oh, I'm hungry, Jack. Let's stop and eat. Don, we're not eating till we get to the falls. But I haven't had a bite of food since breakfast. I know, Don, I know. You're wasting away to a shadow of Mount Whitney. <laughs> <laughs> we'll eat later. Say, Phil, what are you doing with that bottle in your hand? Bingo, a snake bit me. <laughs> That's impossible. At this time of year, rattlesnakes are in hibernation. They're in their holes, sleeping. Well, this one's a playboy. <laughs> oh, stop, will you? Well, all right, Eagle Puss, there's the sign. Read it. We take them trail up mountain. Follow me, pale faces. So long, boss! <laughs>
<laughs> Rochester? Now, Rochester, you're coming too. All right, fellas, let's go. I'm tired, Mr. Benny. This water jug is heavy. Well, let somebody else take it. Phil, you carry the water jug. I got the hatchet. Here, John, you take it. Oh, I'm carrying the rope. You take the water, Mary. I got the camera. Here, Jack, you carry it. I'm loaded up with the compass and everything. <laughs> here, Dennis, you take the water jug. Okay. There's something funny going on around here. <laughs> well, you had a rest, didn't you? All right, fellas, let's go. Forward! March! Why, why, Mr. Billingsley, what happened there? I stumbled. Oh. <laughs> well, don't bother with the drum now. I've got the fife again. <laughs> well, we don't need that either. Gee, fellas, get a load, get a load of this rock formation. You know, I've never seen a view with so much... Hey... Hey, what's that? Look, Jackson, there's something moving in that bush up ahead. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. Wonder what it is. Gee, it might be a wild animal. Oh, Rochester! Yes, boss! <laughs> Go find out what's in that bush! Let it remain a mystery! <laughs> Rochester, you're nothing but a coward. I found that out years ago. <laughs> well, all right. Let's walk around the bush. Come on, fellas. We can pick up the trail on the other side. Lead the way, Eagle Puss. <laughs> Gee, it's rocky up here. Say, Eagle Puss, uh, what are all these holes in, this, in the side of the mountain here? Many moons ago, white men dig gold here. Gold, eh? Yes, Jack. Why, even today, hikers have been known to find nuggets on this trail here. Is that so? Well, that's very interesting. Get up off your knees, Jack. <laughs> I'm just bending over. The knapsack is heavy. Well, let's get going, fellas. Gee, you know, fellas, I wouldn't have missed this hike for anything in the world. Gosh, all the vastness of this gorgeous scenery makes one realize the insignificance of man. Especially me. I can't even swim. Dennis. <laughs> you forget about that. You're right, Jackson. Look at that brook down there with the weeping willows hanging over it. Yeah. What a painting that would make for my bass drum. <laughs> well, I wish you'd put it on there. Your telephone number is a little too obvious. <laughs> 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 oh, golly, but no, no kidding, fella. Gee, you talk... I never saw anything place like... You talk about scenery. Hey, fellas. Hey, look at that cliff over there. Look at that cliff over there. Gee, it makes an echo, too. It makes an echo, too. <laughs> Hey, this is fun. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Take it easy, Bob. I'm tired. <laughs> Well, let's get going. Oh, wait a minute, Jack. I'd like to try it. Hey, Echo! Jello has six delicious flavors. Wait for Wilson! <laughs> My goodness. Strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, and what's that other one? Lime! <laughs> oh, yes. I ought to have my cliff examined. <laughs> Come on, Don. Don, that's the dumbest echo I ever heard. 
<laughs> Gee, this, this trail is getting real rocky now. Watch them step. Pale face, no papoose anymore. Okay, I'll watch it. Gee whiz, fellas, look at those white fleecy clouds against that blue sky. Do you ever see anything so... Whoops! Help me up, Rochester. Why don't you watch where you're going? Well, I didn't see that. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what's this? What's this? I saw it first. You saw what first? Right there. That gold nugget. It's mine. Mine. Where, Jack? I don't see it. Right there. I moved my foot and there it was. See, there may be hundreds of them here. And they're all mine. Oh, boy, I can retire. No more slaving on the radio. No more pictures with Fred Allen. Oh, Jack, stop. I won't stop. Look. Look, I discovered gold. It's gold. Gold. Gold is right. That's your bridge work. <laughs> Oh, yes. Darn that thing. It's always falling out. Pick it up, Rochester. Well, come on, fellas. Let's get to the falls. Ready, Mr. Billingsley? Forward. March. <laughs> left, right, left. Left, left. Left, right, left. Left, right. Friends, I have never th seen anything to equal the way people have been writing in for that new General Foods dessert recipe book. Every day, thousands and thousands of letters come pouring into the mailroom of General Foods in Battle Creek, Michigan, for listeners all over the country who want this grand new dessert book. But here's the most gratifying thing of all. The fact that an amazing number of these letters ask for not just one, but several, two, three, four, or even five. The folks at General Foods tell me that they've never known any recipe book offer that prompted so many people to write in for more than one copy. Yet it's certainly easy to understand why because this new General Foods dessert book is really a winner. A book that will answer your dessert problems day after day for a whole year. It contains recipes and suggestions for 365 luscious desserts of all kinds, pies, cakes, puddings, cookies, and many tempting jello treats as well. So send for your copy now. Just include 10 cents in coin or stamps for each copy you request, and mail your letter to Don Wilson, care of General Foods, Battle Creek, Michigan. Remember, for each of the copies you request, be sure to send 10 cents in coin or stamps. The address again is Don Wilson, General Foods, Battle Creek, Michigan. Well, fellas, here we are, Tocquets Falls. It was a long hike, but it was worth it. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Tons of water falling 90 feet into an icy pool. Just listen to it. <laughs> Ah, what a sight. What a thrill. What a thrill. Oh, quiet. <laughs> Good night, Joni. J-E-L-L-O. Are you good at arithmetic, ladies and gentlemen? Can you add, subtract, and divide and get the right answer? Then add together fine South and Central American coffees. Subtract 97% of the caffeine. Divide by two into drip and regular grinds. And what have you got? Why, Sanka coffee, of course. The real coffee that never robs anybody of sleep. Because the sleep-disturbing caffeine has been removed. Better get Sanka coffee tomorrow. Sanka coffee presents We the People over another network every Tuesday night. This is the National Broadcasting Company.